Hello everybody, my name is Antonina Barukova. Today is Saturday and I'll tell you a new fairy tale. This fairy tale called Pinkalicious by Victoria Ken and Elizabeth Ken. It was rainy day, too wet to go outside. Mommy said, let's make cupcakes. What color do you want? Pink. I said, pink, pink, pink. Mommy, put in some pink. More, I cried. More and more and more. I gobbled up a couple of cupcakes with mommy and I frosted them. They were so yummy. They were pink delicious. I offered one to Peter, my little brother, but he is very pinky. I didn't want to eat his, so I ate it. Please, mommy, can I have just one more? I begged when I woke up from my nap. You get what you get, and you don't get upset, she said. But I got upset. After dinner, I ate more cupcakes. Then I refused to go to bed. Just one more pink cupcake. And I'll go to sleep, I promise. Daddy waved a tired finger at me. You have had enough. The next morning, when I woke up, I was pink. My face was pink, my hands were pink, and my belly was the color of a sunset. Daddy thought I had played with Marcus, so he gave me a buzz. The pink did not come off. My hair was the color of raspberry sorbet. I cried because I was so beautiful. I even had pink tears. I put on my pink fairy princess dress and twirled in front of the mirror. While mommy speed dialed the pediatrician. I am Pinkabelle. Look at me, I'm Pinkabel, I said. Mommy grabbed her purse. Just one more, Cupcake, please, just one more, I yelled on the way out the door. Mommy took me right to the doctor's office. Dr. Wink looked at me and said, You have a very rare and accurate case of Pinkititis. I guess that's not the worst thing that could happen. Just call me Pinkarella. Then Dr. Wing said, for the next week, no more pink cupcake, pink bubblegum or pink cotton candy. Go. Then to return to normal, you must eat a steady diet of green food. Yuck. On the way home, we stopped at the playground. My friend Allison was there, but she didn't see me because I blended in with the pink peonies. When I waved to Allison, I bum a bumblebee landed on my nose. Buzz off! I'm not a flower. I scolded the bee. Soon I was surrounded by bees, butterflies and birds. Mommy! I cried. Please take me home. When we left the playground, I asked Mommy if I could eat another pink cupcake when we got home. Don't you remember what the doctor told you? She said. No more cupcakes. Peter talked at me pink and my pink tails. I wish I were pink like you, he said. He was green with envy. That night I pretended to eat my dinner of mushy dark green vegetables. After everyone went to sleep, I sneaked into the kitchen, climbed onto a chair and reached on my tippy toes to the top of the refrigerator, where mommy had hidden the cupcakes. I took just one more pink cupcake and ate it. Then I licked the pink cupcake 
wrapped clean. When I woke in the morning, I felt different. I ran to the mirror. I peered at my reflection. I was a deeper pink that I had ever seen. In fact, I was no longer pink. I was red. Oh no! Not red! I screamed. I didn't want to be red. I should not have eaten that pink cupcake last night. I want to be myself again. I knew what I had to do. I opened the refrigerator, held my nose and sneaked a bottle of icy green relief onto my tongue. I ate pickles and spinach, olives and okra. I chopped down artichokes, caked on grapes and wrapped up Brussels sprouts. Next thing I knew, my arms tickled, my ears tingled, and my feet twitched. I was no longer red. I was no longer pink. I was me, and I was beautiful. So, what happened to the rest of the cupcakes? Pinkalicious, Daddy asked. Just then, Peter ran in and yelled, Pinkaboo! This is the end. If you like my fairy tale, please put some up. And see you next Saturday. Goodbye.